Hey everyone, this is Mark Philip at Studica. Today I'm going to be talking about how to bring a Revit model into Unity to create an interactive walkthrough. Now it's a little bit different than creating a walkthrough from Revit itself because in Unity you're able to add a character controller which will allow you to use your mouse and keyboard to move around within your model. So it's really a pretty cool feature. Um, to start off with, what we need to do is open up a 3D view in Revit for our Revit project, as I have here. And then click the R at the top left and go over Export. And Export is an FBX file. Now, I'm just going to save this to my desktop. I already have one there, so I'm going to overwrite it. And once it's saved, I need to bring it into 3ds Max. Now, normally, if this is... If you're using any Revit version before 2011, you shouldn't have to go into 3ds Max. But as of 2011 and beyond, Autodesk changed their material libraries to the, uh, the Protein 2 materials. And apparently Unity doesn't interpret those textures properly. So you have to bring it into Max first and then kind of mess with it and then bring it into Unity. So it's kind of an extra step and I'm hoping that in the future Unity will add some sort of functionality so you can just drop this straight into Unity no problem. But for now we got to do this. So now I'm in 3ds Max. I'm going to click up here and click on import. And let me find my file here. Um, I got two but I'll just grab this one. And I'm going to use the default settings and hit OK. Now, up front, this is basically what it would look like if I were to drag it right into Unity. There's no real textures or anything. But what I can do in here is hit Render Production, and uh, I'm just going to cancel it for now. And uh, under Render Preset here, I'm going to choose Mental Ray Daylighting High and hit Load. And that's going to go ahead and add some of my... Uh, textures to the building. Now it's dark here, you can't really tell, but that doesn't matter to me because I can bring my own lighting into Unity. So now that I've gotten my textures down here, and they're not all perfect, but I'm not a 3ds Max guru, so I'm not gonna go into all the, you know, putting all the materials everywhere. If you are a guru, then you can really do some crazy, uh, some real good looking textures, some real good looking modeling here to, to make your Revit model look really nice before you bring it into Unity. But I'm just going to use it as it is. So now that I've got this, I'm just going to go up here and re-export again as an FBX file. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside my project folder uh, for my Unity project, which is under my documents. I mean, it really depends wherever you save it, but my project's called Revit Test. And once you're inside your Unity project, you'll see a bunch of folders here. You want to go under Assets and just save it in there. I'm just going to call it Revit FBX. And the assets folder is where pretty much everything in your Unity project goes. So you need to save it in here. I'm going to use the default settings here. Like I said, I'm not a Max guru. If you are, there might be stuff in here you want to mess with, but I'm just going to hit OK. It's going to export that file out for me. It's going to give me some warnings with the sky and, and lighting. I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said, I can handle that stuff in Unity. And then once I go back into my Unity project, it's going to load my assets up. And it will pop up for me here. So it added a materials folder and the Revit FBX file. Now if I click on my FBX file in my project uh, menu, you'll see a bunch of options here. The one I want to focus on is generate colliders. This will automatically create mesh colliders for your whole model. So you're able to walk around on it and everything. If you don't do this, you'll have to make them yourself, which if you're doing a real full-blown project for a client or something, you'll probably want to do because the colliders that generate from Unity are good, but as you'll see in a minute here when I drop in my FBX file, um, I have stairs inside of my building here, and they're kind of weird with the colliders that they automatically set up. But that's, you know, if you want to take the time, you can go ahead and add all your own box colliders and everything and make it feel real nice. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as the normal colliders that Unity creates. Now, uh, so I pretty much got my model here. You know, it doesn't look as nice as it does in Revit necessarily, but that's kind of what 3ds Max is for. Uh, you can really go into 3ds Max and make all these things look real good. Uh, but I'm just going to leave mine standard as it is. So... 
now I've got my model in here and uh, I want to add a first person controller so I'm going to go under static, standard assets character controllers I'm going to drag an FPS controller in here now this guy is huge compared to the building so I'm going to click on my building and use my scale tool to kind of bring him up a bit so now he's much bigger now let me uh, click back on my first person controller okay maybe my building needs to be a little bit bigger maybe a tad smaller okay that works so now I've got my first person controller in here and if I hit play I can run around on here and you know see my model now I can't go through my door because I've got colliders generated so what I'll go ahead and do is delete those doors but I also notice it's real dark so I'm just gonna real quick go up to game object create other and add a directional light I'm gonna move this guy up I get him just in a decent position here rotate around okay so now if I play there we go I got better lighting now let me go back to my doors here <laughs> double click on them delete and it's going to tell me it's going to lose a prefab that's fine with me so delete those doors and I got some other ones like right here I have some inside the house I won't worry about for now but then I can hit play and uh, now I can run around and look at my model now I got some weird kind of flashing going on there I think that's a problem with my graphics card so uh, I would ignore that but so yeah I can go up and down my stairs I can kinda of look around if I run into the couch I actually stop um, again like I was saying with the colliders I'm moving forward on these stairs but I'm not going up so I kinda of have to jump my way up using the spacebar um, so again that's kinda of some of the problems you can run into with the colliders uh, generating automatically so again it might be wise if you're doing a real project for a client or something to actually create your own colliders which will take some time but um, it will be worth it in the long run because it will give you a smoother experience so that's uh, the gist of it so I'm able to run around and look in my uh, building here and you know if I want uh, I can go around and add light sources places or maybe I have a fireplace like uh, right here or something you know I could add a particle effect and unity for a fireplace I can add a sound effect I can really make it an immersive experience I could add a skybox so I don't got just a blue sky I could add a terrain so it looks like I'm actually in some sort of location instead of just floating in 3d space but uh, hopefully you get the idea and hopefully this has been informational so uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video uh, Hope you enjoy, and uh, if you have any questions or want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. Thank you. Goodbye.